Hi guys and what's up? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Cassie Ray and today I will be sharing with you my morning routine um, as a work from home mom that is a mom to one. So I hope that this is interesting, something that you would like to enjoy and um, share with other people. Please give it a like um, and subscribe if you would like to. But that's what we're going to be doing today. I feel like it'll be very helpful um, for anyone who does work from home or just something that's entertaining for people to enjoy. And so thank you so much for everything. So I wake up at 525, sometimes a little bit later, depending on the day and what I feel like. And then as soon as my eyes pop open, I switch the laundry and then I get right into reading. It's just a nice time for myself to be able to really dive deep into what God wants me to do as a wife and a mom. It's not the same morning basket as I do with my son whenever he wakes up. This is just my own time to be with myself. Um, also during this time I will work out and I will just go ahead and get anything else done that I feel like I would like to do. And a lot of times I don't know, it just kind of depends, but for the most part, I do like to spend time in the Word um, and just enjoying my time with God at this moment. Um, and then I go right into making coffee. I don't drink it right away, so I will make it while my son is asleep, um, but I will not actually drink it for a while because of my hormones and everything kind of like that. Um, if you want to know more about that, I will link my podcast. It's called The Wellness Nerd Podcast, and it's through Patreon. And that's where I explain all of that kind of stuff. Um, and then my son will wake up, so I set his alarm for around 7, and I use the hatch, and I have it on his schedule, so birds will chirp whenever he needs to wake up. And so there he is. He's awake and moving around and playing right away. Um, but this is my other basket that I do with him. I keep it very simple. Um, I have a saint book. I will have a blog post linked down below where I have all this linked, but it's really amazing if you want to get to know more about your saints. I don't know a lot about them, so I'm trying to know more, and that's a really simple, easy book. Um, and I also read that to my son. I read um, a portion of this um, out of the Sunday Missal for him as well. Um, and then this is my binder that I do, and I do it kind of... I'll have to do a separate video on this, I guess, but... Or a blog post or something but it's basically where I have readings in the front I've got a journaling section I've got a gratitude section um, I've got prayer requests and all that kind of stuff and so I'll do the same morning prayer time whenever um, like I showed you earlier before my son wakes up and then I will do like a loop so I'll, I won't do this all of this every day I'll just do one uh, divided section each time and one of those sections is the rosary and praying the rosary um, because I want to do that, but I can't realistically do that every day. And so I've got like where it's loops, basically where I have bet behind one divider, I do that every day. Um, I hope that that's making sense. But whatever section that is that I'm on for the day, I only do that one section that's behind that divider. Um, and then I have his, which is a little bit different, but I um, each day try to include a toy or two. Um, and all of that stuff and then down below that I'm showing you now is actually more of like I guess I don't know school I mean it's not really school because he's not even two yet but it's just like some songs and colors and numbers and the Bible and reading all that stuff with him um, and then next I will start putting my morning diffuser blend in I mix a bunch of diffuser blends together and I will put it in a jar like that to where I can just drop it in like this and then um, let it diffuse while we are getting dressed, doing things. Um, it's so helpful if you're a mom, you need to do that. And if you're in a, into essential oils. And then I go right into making breakfast because I'm starting to get hungry. My son is starting to get hungry. I had chia, flax, hemp, all the things um, to these muffins. So that's why they look like that. <laughs> but I put them in the oven and I let them cook. And then I add a little bit of oatmeal on the top just for decoration because I feel like it. Um, but yeah, I put them in the oven and I let them cook for whatever it says directed um, on the box or on the recipe card. Depends on the day if I make it homemade or not. Um, and then while I'm in the kitchen, I feed my sourdough. This is my sourdough. I love making sourdough stuff. 
And then I also check to make sure we have enough stuff for lunch or I pack my lunch. Um, I don't make my bed, so that was just a little spot I needed to show you. <laughs> um, but then now we're brushing teeth. So this is my son's toothbrush. I will brush his teeth. Um, and then I'll brush mine as well. This is my toothpaste that I like. It is um, from Thrive Market. It is one of my favorite toothpastes. Um, I have used it for years now and I have not switched. This is also my toothbrush. Um, it's a Sonicare one. I've used it since college. And then this is my mouthwash. I love it all. Um, so there's that. And then I am deciding to continue to get dressed by putting on my jewelry, making, putting on my wedding ring, all that kind of stuff. I'm um, starting to get my makeup done and starting to put that together and brush my hair, all those things. Um, and then this is the toner that I use in the morning and the moisturizer. I'm not too crazy about either one of them. I just decided that I wanted to try something different. And then now I'm kind of stuck with them, so I kind of have to finish them. <laughs> um, but then now I'm getting dressed and I have a uniform for myself just because it's a lot easier for me. Um, and I look more professional whether I meet people in person or I meet people um, virtually, um, I do that then. And then this is whenever I make my coffee. After I eat breakfast and after I drink my whole entire water cup, I will then make my coffee and sip on it and drink it for as long as possible before I have to continue drinking more water. So I just use honey and some half and half. I feel like I've mentioned this so many times, um, but yeah. And then everyone always asks me too if I keep using the same white mug for pretty much all my videos. I use this white mug for almost every day for my coffee. There's like a couple of them that I switch between, but this is like the main one that I love. Like right as I'm editing this, I'm actually drinking coffee from this mug. So yes, I do love it. Yes, I use it all the time. It is one of my favorites. <laughs> um, but anyways, so there's that. And then now I go and check my calendar. I'm showing you a blank one for obviously um, personal reasons um, and protection. but. I just go through my to-do list, um, my hourly schedule, everything like that, kind of see what the day is like. So that way I can kind of get myself prepared for it. Um, and then I will either start work from home or I will go to my office. So I have two different places. If I'm meeting a client in person, then I will meet them at my office. And um, that's what this looks like right here. But other than that, that's what I do for the day. And I get started. Um, usually my son will take a nap and that's really whenever I start getting into working and all of that. So thank you so much guys.